Uh, assisting Dane with all that damage he can do with the jungle. Ooh, checking out a little bit of trouble against this Dyroth. Getting brought low, I think, as we progress, though, onto this level four once the laning phase gets through. That chicken may be able to keep up with promise. He's just going to have to watch out for that following skill, right? He needs to watch out for that big dive, but he has the abilities with that Electro Final Blow to kind of phase out of things to escape if he needs to. But Shark. Ooh, we do see an injector onto Arpa, who's going to go ahead and Jeet Kundo his way to safety. Yeah, nice play. And Turtle will be up very, very shortly. The Valley ready to go for it. So the Valley, as they're rotating through this map, they seem comfortable. We haven't seen them play a composition like this in a quite a long time, but Zane still feels so comfortable on this YSS. The damage he did to Eugen earlier, getting those slight picks, and with Shark as his front man once again, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, we do see that Osips is trying to make something happen. We do see that final blow coming out here. Eugen is gonna go ahead and expend that flicker back. Here comes the the, uh, the feathered air strike down. It doesn't catch anybody though. Now we are on the turtle. Super Shark gonna go ahead and try to zone out the rest of them on this jaw head right now. Uh, we do see the damage coming on there. Down to about a third health. In comes Fallen. Down comes the Tempest of Blades here. He is able to pick up that turtle now. Coming in on top of the valley. He is able to get away scot-free and nobody loses a life there. So Fallen picking up a retribution steal there. And we saw him do it to Lord last time. It seems like the fingers are getting a bit quicker. Maybe it was cold. Maybe those hand warmers are finally starting to kick in because he tapped that retribution on time. Able to make sure he out retries the valley there. So the Simpsons starting to gain a little bit of a lead here, and basic goes down in the top lane. Simpsons picking up first blood for the third game in a row. Yeah, final blood comes out there. Oh, an ejector does land on the promise. He's gonna go ahead and activate that uh, that flicker. Oh, he gets cleaned up, taken down there. Uh, but so they are able to trade kill for a kill, one to one here, and it is a tie game here, even with the gold, folks. Now on screen once again, get out those phones because you can redeem the you can redeem the code on the skin now. The redeem link is in the description, and only the first 30 users can get that. So get hype and make sure you come right back. Now on to this game. It's 1-1. Simpsons still below on gold here ever so slightly the valley man we say it over and over the farm rate is just so intense but the simpsons definitely have a huge opportunity in this game we just saw them pick off basic we've seen them i mean the possibilities are there yeah i want to say that this is probably the best opening that the simpsons have had i mean not winning but not losing they're keeping the they're keeping the valley at a standstill here you can see up at the top basic just come down with a little bit of that stun on the cold world <laughs> shark trying to be a little sneaky but definitely cold world definitely saw that coming does go ahead and uh throw that uh that battle mirror image into that bush to go ahead and let shark know that yeah you can go ahead and leave now sir <laughs> they got to keep their eyes on shark we just saw the bait come on to promise he thought he had chicken and now he's up in the top lane all of a sudden but wait a second Ooh, feathered air strike comes down is warding off super uh, super shark there, but uh, unfortunately you wasted a feathered airstrike there and didn't really get a, a lot of value out of it. And now you're not going to have it for this turtle. We are seeing them go ahead and start on a three members here right now. Going in, Arville takes a heap of damage. There goes a feathered airstrike of their own with that INU from Hoon on that Valentina. Oh. Promise comes in, is able to get that turtle. There goes the final blow right now. Arville is going to go ahead and disengage there as well, so no kills just Yet, oh, as I say, that cold world is getting chased down right now. But the rest of the Simpsons coming in to go ahead and uh, go ahead and escort him to safety. Thomas trying to take the throne of a uh, retri god there, stealing that turtle away. A nice play from the side of the Simpsons there. Now. The Valley still holding it though. Taking a look at these items, we are seeing Claude getting that DHS in from Cold World there. So some damage is gonna start being input on the Shark here. Gonna maybe start helping defend, but taking a look at Mobazane with 3,300 gold, a full 400 ahead of Fallen right now. Oh, you see Prowess is gonna go ahead and have to expend that flicker already. Try to put on the damage, is gonna go ahead and dash his way to safety behind that tower. Meanwhile, up at the top, we have three. Three members from the Simpsons kind of needing up 
with uh, with the valley there, but they are going to think twice about that engagement. Ooh. <laughs> and, oh, 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 unfortunately, Arville just a second too late gets the wrong angle on Hoon as he falls with that way of the dragon into his own tower. So they're not able to capitalize on Hoon. You see, start coming in, blazing duet from Cold World here. Is he going to be able to get back with oh. that BMI? They're not even thinking about that. In comes, uh, in comes falling down. But uh, we do see that uh, they come down with that ult right now. Here comes the feather air strike right now as well. Fallen in a bit of trouble, taking oh. a lot of damage. Is going to use that fifth post to get no, away. No. It's, oh, oh no! Oh. Auto attack from Moba Zane, able to finish the job there, and they are not able to punish him. Fly Chicken coming all the way from the bottom lane to go ahead and put on some damage onto Arville. There goes that mountain shocker to go ahead and slow them down, give uh, the Valley a little bit of vision on the map. So close, so close. And those are those minute things. When we talk about this game being a game of seconds and minutes, those of single HPs on the line, the Valley always gets away with those low amounts of health. But the Simpsons right there, when, the, when one of them is low trying to get away, the Valley finds it and they make sure you pay for it. Ooh, we just see where the dragon does a latch onto Shark and it's not able to, enough to be able to go ahead and clean him up. Fly chicken coming into the back line as well to go ahead and ward off Eugen there. Cold World coming in, but it's not going to be able to make anything happen here. And we are going into this next hurdle. Promise is here trying to go ahead, let it be known that he is here trying to kind of cover down for this. I'm not sure if the Simpsons are in a position to go ahead and, uh, oh, there goes the Mountain Shocker. So now the Valley have a good, precise location. Oh, basically, oh take down Cold World off camera there. And now we are actuating onto them. Here comes the Tempest of Blade, and they're falling, able to pick hey. up that turtle there. A great play by him. He has been showing the skill level on this Ling, which we haven't been able to see in NA for a very long time. I, I don't, I, you know, all the people who always said, this Ling, this Ling, this Ling. What is wrong? Why doesn't anyone play Assassins? Well, tonight, guys, in this LAN event, we are seeing Fallen showing up right now for The Simpsons. The Simpsons really trying to hold this game together and put one on the map for themselves. The only problem is, is they haven't taken any towers. They haven't, yes, they've been getting those objectives on the map, but still not really able to catch a huge lead. They need to start converting these objectives into actual non-neutral objectives, into objectives taken from the valley. Yeah, and we see that down comes the mountain shock. They're going to go ahead and give the valley a little bit of vision there so they know where the Simpsons are and what they can try to make happen here. You see a little bit of a dual lane up at the top, but Promise is uh, in a, a little bit of a comfortable oh. position there. Okay. Oh, Arville, he does get away on the dragon. Three members meet him in that bush, and that is just not the bush you want to be going into. Hoon comes in, about to answer it with his own. He's going to go ahead and dash his way to the tower. Up at the top, we do see Boba Zane clashing. We see that Tempest Blade coming down as well. Basic able to take down Cold World there. He's going to go ahead and get himself to safety. Fallen goes down to the hands of Moba Zane. Basic, basic, bro. On this Mia right now, I mean, it, it had a little bit of trouble up front, but Dave was right. <laughs> Dave called it. All you got to do is sit there, basic attack, <laughs> and uh, actually output that damage. And if he can use that ultimate, that blessing of the moon goddess to get that right position and wait for you to pop those skills, then it's GG's, man. You just run in, you bam, 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 and everyone drops. So at this point, the Valley is holding the lead in towers. Ease has been able to push in that top lane a lot, and this is the Force Promise up there, constantly defending to where as the rest of the team of the Valley can get involved in this lore. Yeah, and it's just such a smart play too, because if you're gonna wanna counter, uh, if you're gonna wanna counter the Mia, you have to go ahead and pick up that Wind of Nature, which means it's gonna take you a little longer to get that Golden Staff, take you a little longer to get that, de uh, that Demon Hunter Sword as well, and he can't sacrifice that right now if he wants to keep the Simpsons in some of the these team fights. We see that the Valley going ahead is starting on this first Lord, maybe baiting it out a little bit. They don't seem like they really want to put the damage on it just yet. They just want to get Simpsons in a position that they can take advantage of. Oh, at the top, you see a tower going down there as well. So, and Mountain Shocker comes out here right now. Doesn't look like they're going to go ahead and take it. They want to know where the Simpsons are on the map right now. Down to half health is this first Lord going over to the side of the Simpsons right now. They're 
They're both falling. Maybe. Nobody really knows what they want to get out. Oh, no falling. He's fallen. Takes it again. His retri foo is strong tonight. As we do see that the, the Valley is able to go ahead and pick up a kill there. Colwell coming in with that blazing duet. Not able to make anything happen. Is going to go ahead and use that BMI to get out of the way. Promise coming in here on to Sharp. Uh -oh. Gets ejected almost into the tower. But you see that wave of the dragon on for Oh, Promise gets taken out by Moba Zane. I thought he would be safe. Unfortunately, he, uh, Moba Zane comes in to clean that up uh -oh. as well. We do see this tower going down. Cold World in some trouble here. Wings by Wings is going to get Farge out of harm's way. Down goes Cold World. That is two members from the Simpsons going down. And even though you get the Lord, unfortunately, you lose players because you don't have the you don't have the the backup you don't have like everybody in sync with what they should be doing at that point yeah they're just once again a little bit too split up in these games man and they get the lord it's a great time to regroup and figure out what we're doing you don't have the lead you know, you just, you stole the Lord. And you did it great. Like, that is a great play. But the thing is, is that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want on the map. Wait a second. Ooh, fallen. Oh, down, Fallen is a maniac right now. Trying to put on that damage. We do see that fake. Oh. Oh, Shark followed him. Well up. Oh. oh, my God. Almost across the map. Shark had latched on, and he was not going to let go. We are still pushing in onto this mid tower right now. Cold World, Eugen, and Arville. It doesn't look like this mid tower going to Oh, we do see a Tuxus Blades uh, with that IMU from who? Oh, oh the Dragon catches Hood, makes him pay. <laughs> and up at the top, we see the Simpsons here. They're going to try to do the same up at the top. White Chicken coming in with that Benedetta. You see that final blow come out, and uh, it is going to be enough to kind of wear Ward off them. Here comes the Blazing Duet. Ejector has come out with the BM. The BMI gets Cold World to safety. Down goes oh. Shark again. Tempest of Blaze comes down. Moba Zane gets himself to safety. Mountain Shocker down on the map. Actually takes the Simpsons pretty low. But look at the comeback. Look at the gold. Simpsons have now officially taken a lead. And we are, we're getting into this, what, 13 minutes into this game? I mean, this could be the Simpsons grounds right here as long as Basic doesn't pop off, right? We've seen Fallen continue and continue to do more. White Chicken, though, does pick up this Blade of Despair. We're gonna see a bit more damage from him at this point. But the Simpsons have brought this game back to a stalemate with Lord coming up in 24 seconds. The Simpsons have a nice foothold on it. And it seems that even if they don't have a nice foothold on the pit, Fallen can possibly steal it. Yeah, we see a little bit of engagement happening here. The Valley coming in. Here comes the final blow there. Fallen oh. does get taken out by Basic. Fly Chicken able to take down Eugene. Mountain Shocker on the map right now. And there is not much to stop this push. Blazing Duet. Cold World gets taken out by Moba Zane. That is three for nothing right as soon as this Lord spawns. That's going to be the first Luminous Lord going over to the Valley. Patronus trying to get some split push in here, right? Trying to do something in that top lane. Continuing to try and do something. Now, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? That's my question. Are they always going off to split push a little too late or a little bit too early? Arvel taking a bit of damage here. Oh, Arvel gets taken out by Hoon. A lot of damage going on. Oh my god, this might be it. They're not even going to wait for the Lord. Oh, 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 what a flicker! Able to throw Eugen in and clean him up. Promise can take it out. They are at the core. Half health. There goes the place to do it. Is it going to be enough? It is not. The Valley take game three.